The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman sweeps the doubleheader against UVAY 6-5 in walk-off fashion in Game 1 and 7-3 in Game 2. Coach, what do you think of the team's overall effort here today to get two wins against the Cavs? Well, yeah, it's big. Anytime you, you get a, a doubleheader and you're able to win two, it's huge. And so, and especially where we started off today. I mean, Matt, Matt just didn't locate well, um, and, and they did a great job. Uh, of, of taking advantage, um, you know, of him not being able to hit his spots, coming up with big hits. And so to be able to overcome that, again, very similar to Kataba being down. And then Ryan Smithson comes in in relief and does a great job, at least not adding more runs to that score, and Shaver to shut it down. So that was key in that middle. And then obviously offensively, some big hits. Uh, Gunnar Ricketts, Krobe at the end, we were able to get on base. So very big, very big. And then second game, it all started on the mound. I mean, Co uh, did a great job. Him and Parkinson had good flow going. I thought Matt did a good job calling the game, did a good job back there receiving. Um, Micah Jenner all day defensively, that helped quite a bit. Had a good offensive day. The bottom part of that lineup today was very uh, efficient and very good. Um, Gunnar Ricketts, really good at bats and hasn't played in the last two games. So for him to come in and do that, uh, was really good. And then obviously Sidney Schultz, give him an op that opportunity to come in for what he's been through with his arm and keeps working and um, been in the program. It's good to see him finish the ball game. What did you think of how your team was able to respond in game one? You fall behind 5 nothing. Not a lot is happening for your team at the plate. You get that big four spot, then you get nothing in the six, but you're able to respond there in the sevens. What do you think of how your team was able to stick with it? Well, great, and, and that's, that has everything to do with them here. It has nothing to do with the coaches. That's all about them. It's about believing. There's a lot of cliches we can use, chemistry. But some clubs, you have to get, you have to have had those opportunities before. Some clubs are wondering, can they come back from a 4-5-0 deficit? Thankfully, at Catawba, we were able to do that twice. So their mindset is, we're never out of this thing. As long as we keep it in distance. What's distance? Well, it seems like five is in distance. They feel like they have a chance. So their mindset is, is, is kind of programmed for that right now, which is great. Because some years you, don't, you never had those kind of comebacks and your club's wondering, can we come back? They feel like they can. And, um, you know, today was great. I mean, we, we received bad news today on Hunter Long. Um, you know, he's got a torn UCL, UCL and is out for the year. Kid who came back this year with the COVID to be a part of this program again, worked hard and got a chance to pitch at Limestone, unfortunately got hurt. That's sad. It's sad because his family, his brother pitched here. He's invested a lot into this program and you want to see something good happen from it. And uh, something will happen because God had a plan as we talked about with him. God has a plan, it changed on him. Um, it's not the one we want, but it's the, the one we're going to deal with. And I, hopefully I think he's going to stay around and help coach, help mentor these young kids, which is fantastic because um, he, he's going to do a great job for us. So tough news there. And then I didn't know Coach Banner, UVA Wise, this is last year. And let me tell you something, what a class act. A guy who's invested so much into that program up there as a player, assistant, head coach, first class dude does a great job those are the kind of guys that make this profession phenomenal is guys like Hank Banner and I was sad to hear he was leaving his young assistant's going to take over and they're kind of mentoring him right now but um I'm gonna miss him he's a good dude what's the lesson you want your team to take away from today getting ready for two tomorrow well honestly listen we're going to receive bad news in life like Hunter Long we heard about that today how do, we, how do we respond to that? How does Hunter respond? How does the team respond to that? We fall behind. That's adversity. How do you respond from that? I mean, God's going to give us all kinds of things throughout our life. It too shall pass, whether it's a bad thing or good thing. So it's just, it's staying resilient. It's believing in each other. It's communicating with each other. Communication is so key with each other that, um, you know, I have your back. You know, uh, I believe in you. Uh, or maybe I need a quick kick in the rear end to wake up a little bit, whatever it is, but everything is done at a truly trying to serve you. And I think that's what we're, we're doing here. The chemistry is good. You know, guys who came out of the game, like Charlie Brown, you know, he got a, came out for a pinch hitter. He's in here just as involved, being a great teammate. That's, that's what we want from these guys. Learn how to be servants. 
Coach, thanks for so much for the time. Congrats on two wins. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Great seeing you. Great seeing you. He's Carson Newman, Coach Tom Griffin. I'm Michael Watring for the Eagle Sports Network.